Thomas and friends, making tracks to great destinations. Dear Christopher, here is your friend Thomas the Tank Engine. He wanted to come out of his station yard and see the world. These stories tell you how he did it. I hope you will like them because you helped me to make them. Your loving daddy. The island also has lots and lots of railway lines. Who's that puffing down the track? It's Thomas! Hello, Thomas! Hello, everybody! Welcome to the island of Sodor. Today, on the island of Sodor, we'll see Emily helping Percy. Then see Gordon getting into trouble. Then see Thomas trying to have a day off. But first, Emily is taking passengers to the ruined castle. Thomas is happy working on the Sodor Railway. It makes him very proud. Can you guess what makes him proudest? Shunting coal cars is hard and dirty work, but Thomas doesn't mind. Being good at shunting freight cars makes him very proud. Now Thomas is going to collect the children. Taking the children to school in Annie and Clarabel also makes him very proud. But what do you think makes him proudest of all? When Thomas pulls into Tidmouth Sheds and Sir Topham Hatt says, Thomas, you are a really useful engine. That's what makes Thomas feel the proudest of all. Watch out, Gordon wished. You'll get my paint all sooty. Pulling freight cars is a sooty job, teased Salty. But then you wouldn't know. Of course not, Gordon huffed importantly. Express engines don't pull freight cars. It wouldn't be dignified. Dingy fried? Puzzled Percy. What's that? Dignified, Gordon corrected. It means... It means that someone's too big for his buffers, teased Salty. 
said. You must go to the docks immediately. Yes, sir, they whistled. Then Sir Topham had turned to the big blue engine. You too, Gordon. But the signalman had accidentally left the point switch to the branch line. Gordon rattled through the junction. That's strange, he exclaimed. I'm on the branch line. Oh no, the signalman cried. Express trains aren't supposed to go that way. But Gordon ignored the signs. I'm an express engine. I don't go slow, he said. The branch line couldn't take his weight, and the rails buckled. Whoa, help! Gordon cried as he slid off the tracks and into a field. hurt, but poor Gordon felt very undignified. Gordon was soon repaired and back at the docks ready for work, but he was very unhappy with himself. Everyone makes mistakes, said Thomas, even you. Salty sorry he teased you, puffed James. And I'm sorry I was too big for my buffers, chuffed Gordon. And all the engines gave a jolly toot, even Gordon. Gordon, Mavis, and Percy each have a special job to do today. Pulling the express, shunting cars of slate at the quarry, and taking the mail car. Can you guess which job would make Gordon feel really useful? There he goes. Around one bend, and then around another. But where's he heading? To the express car. Gordon is pulling the express today. It's the job that makes him feel really useful. What about Mavis? Which job would make her feel really useful? She's on her way, through the curves, round the bends, but where will she end up? At the slate car. Mavis is shunting slate cars in the quarry today. It's the job that makes her feel really useful. What about Percy? There he goes, along the track, twisting and turning, but where's he going? To the mail car. Percy is taking the mail today. It's Percy's favorite job. It makes Percy feel really useful. Mavis, Percy, and Gordon are each doing the jobs that make them feel really useful. Well done, everyone.